So Natalie is a cooker. That's what I want to talk about today. Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie. I am the She in Sheality TV. And today I want to talk about uh, Mike's mom supposedly calling Natalie a hooker. So this is all over like Twitter and Reddit and whatever. I don't have Facebook, but it's probably there too. Um, that Mike's mom, Nat, or I should say Natalie says that Mike's mom called her a hooker. So I feel like I don't think she called her a hooker. I think that Natalie said Mike's mom called her a hooker, so she she would have a reason to behave the way that she's behaving. I don't think that Mike's mom called her that at all. And if you think let's 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 apply some common sense here. If you think that someone called you a hooker, wouldn't you say excuse me? What did you call me? Instead Natalie goes What? Who does that? Who says, your mom called me a hooker? Right? Especially given how relatively outspoken Natalie is. I don't buy it. I do not buy it for one second, not for a heartbeat. That's not to say that Mike's mom hasn't done some, has said some other really shitty things, but I don't, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that at all. I don't buy that, not because she's above it, but I don't buy that she actually said it. In addition, Natalie got a new pet that, disgusting, she got a rat. Did you guys see that she got a rat? She got a rat. Now, doesn't she strike you as the type of person who would be disgusted at the sight of a rat? Did you see that thing? It's bigger than my fist. It's big, and it had this huge, long, I'll put a picture up here, big long ass rat tail. I don't know about you, but there are three things you are not doing in my house. You are not coming into my house with your street shoes on. You're not getting into or on my bed with your street clothes on. And you are not putting a rat on my kitchen table. That ain't happening. I, it, it was disgusting. And she's, the rat is eating the peanuts. Or I should say Mike and the rat are eating peanuts. She's got a pile of peanuts on the table in front of her and Mike is eating peanuts and the rat is eating peanuts. And this thing is crawling all over her and you just see this long pink tail. Oh, gross. I had to fast forward. Disgusting. I, I don't, and I, I think she gave it a name. I can't remember what it is and I don't care. It's disgusting. So, I don't know. I feel like the rat was also a part of her whole hooker thing like Natalie's just she's doing things to get Mike like M Mike is weak I'm sorry he reminds me of a melting pillar candle doesn't he remind you of a melting pillar candle just this big thick droopy melting pillar candle that's what he reminds me of anyways um yeah I don't buy that Trish called her a uh, a hooker. I don't think she even thinks that Trish called her a hooker. I think that she's using that to cause trouble. Period. She wants out. And shit, why not? I'm tired of being at your mother's house. Hey, your mom called me a hooker. Let's get out of here. I'm leaving. My mom said, I talked to my mom and my mom said that I shouldn't talk. What are you, six? Come on. Really? Natalie was looking for a way out of this boring ass Thanksgiving visit, period. And oh shit, who could blame her? But if Trish actually really for serious called her a hooker, can you see Natalie not saying it to her face and just kind of saying it to Mike offside? Your mom called me a hooker. I can't see it. I'm sorry. I don't buy it. I don't believe it for a second. And I don't know. I don't even know why these two are still together. Uh, honestly, I feel like M Mike is in it for the check because she's been nothing but nasty. Nasty. 
I, I think I said it in my last video. She was, she's turned back into the person that she was when he went to visit her in, U in the Ukraine. She's that person now. Now that they're married and she's on her way to getting her green card, she's turned back into that nasty bitch that he visited in the Ukraine. And I think he's just, he's staying in it for the TLC check because she hasn't actually given him a, an actual physical, emotional reason to stay. He barely speaks to her. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think Mike is, he's just about at the end of it. He's starting to do his finances and he's thinking, yeah, I'm going to have to do without that $1,000 or 1500 or whatever the hell it is. I'm going to have to do without that. I can't take this anymore. I feel like he's getting to that point. I mean, when they're arguing and his voice jumps up five octaves, I think that says, yeah, I can do without the money or I'm willing to do without the money. That's all I've got from Mike and Natalie and 90 Day Fiance happily, happily ever after for today. My name is Debbie. This is Reality TV. I will see you next time. Peace.